right after the waterfall. Uh, just over this rock is where the rest of it is, but I'm not going over there. I want to live to see another day. But uh, guys, this is just breathtaking. There are some homes that are right on that hill right there overlooking all of this. See some golf carts down there moving around. This definitely looks like a world class golf course. Whoever put their money toward this definitely knew exactly what they were doing. Definitely has that type of Grand Canyon type feel to it. But definitely breathtaking, guys. And this is Twin Falls, Idaho. For all you golf guys out there who want to take a trip, this is definitely something to see. What's going on YouTube? So I was watching, uh, watching. I'm sorry. I was listening to a podcast, uh, to a podcast on my Zoom Tunes, which is Microsoft's version of the iPod. But anyways, and I was listening to a podcast of Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, that's the guy who wrote the book Rich Dad Poor Dad. He has a book coming out called Rich Brother, Rich Sister. So he was talking about, you know, uh, wealth and things of that nature and his family and things of that nature, how his mom and dad both had PhDs and both were broke. They were the ones that said, education is everything, and they didn't have any money. But what was interesting about his story was is that when he got on the subject of his sister, his sister is a Buddhist, very religious woman. He said, this woman is sickening how kind this woman is, but he was saying it in a sarcastic type way. And, you know, Buddhist, she, her, her way to make a living now is she has a shelter or something where she helps people. Very religious woman, right? And here's her brother who is a millionaire and she makes a little bit of money, but she's very religious. I'm going somewhere with this, guys. But she had a heart attack and she's had cancer in her life. Guess who had to pay for those procedures? Robert did. Robert Kiyosaki paid for both of those procedures. And on the second procedure, he basically said, Look, I understand you're Buddhist. I understand you, you're all about peace and things of that nature, whatever. But you're, you're going to at least have to be able to take care of yourself. And think about it, guys. How many people are out there today who are very religious? God is going to bring me this. God is going to bring me that. And, you know, and they tell you things like, money isn't everything. It isn't. But I have a question for you. Can you afford life? I mean, think about it. If you're living and breathing right now, you're in a game of life, whether you want to or not. And the least that you could do is to take care of your own self. I'm going to say that again. Is to take care of your own self. Not living in the home with your mom and dad, if you're an adult. Not borrowing money from other people. No. Take care of your own self. Because here's the thing. Those people that usually do things like that, like borrow money from the mom and dad and friends and live in a house with mom and dad, these are the guys who are the main complainers. The guys and gals, they complain the most. But look at that. You complain the most and you, you borrow money from people. And you live in your mom and dad's house or your friend's home or whatever. You don't pay rent. That's the least a person can do that's living and breathing. You know? I mean, it was it was strange hearing about Robert Kiyosaki because he's such a wealthy man. And you would think that maybe some of that kind of rubbed off on them. But no. Everybody's different. You know, I don't care who you are. You could be moving forward right financially and, and, and going in the right direction. There's going to be somebody on the sidelines 
waiting to ask you for some, for something. Say, hey man, I got an idea for a business. Can you can you let me borrow a little money? Or hey man, you know, uh, times is hard right now. You know, I need something. Always, people you don't know that will be get. I mean, that will begin to get get to know you once they find out who you are. Will begin to ask. You know. So I just want to hear your uh, your comments on this, guys, because you know I hear a lot of people say all the time, God is going to take care of me. You know, and I'm like, well. I think we're here already. I think it's time to take care of ourselves. You know, I, I believe in God just like a lot of other people do. Some people don't believe in God, you know. But what I'm saying is, one thing I think that really works is good old-fashioned hard work uh, and just making things happen. Always moving. When you're sitting on your butt saying, I'm unemployed now and there's no work, you need to get off your butt and try to find something. If it doesn't exist in your state or your city, you need to move. Don't just sit there and blame Obama for everything. I could care less about what Obama's doing right now. I'm worried about what this guy's doing. And right now, I'm traveling to go get some money. So, that's my thoughts on that, guys. Let me hear your questions and comments. Until next time, signing off.